So the only thing I'm trying to do is just be myself. Yeah. 100% through and through in whatever it is that I'm doing. And that's really what I'm trying to get everybody else to do. Yeah. Like, it, whatever it is, unless you're a trash person. Yeah. Don't be 100% that. Yeah. If, like, be the best version of yourself and then just be that. Whatever it is that your interest is, whatever it is that makes your personality, whatever it is that makes you you, do that. Yeah. 100% authentically and, like, don't, like, stop trying to be, like, everybody else. That's the... What's going on, everyone? It is your girl, Queen Queen. And thank you for joining me on my podcast. I really appreciate it. We will be discussing many topics and things like celebrity gossip, politics, life lessons, and etc. Please think of me as that homegirl that you've been knowing for years. Remember, the motto is never judge a book by its cover before opening it up and reading it and agree to disagree. Just stand on what you're saying, period. So sit back, relax, please like, share, comment, give feedback, because remember, this show is for the people. Love, peace, and unity. What's going on, everyone? It is your girl, Queen Quee, and this is Prasha with Queen Quee. Today's segment, we will be doing Ask Queen. And Ask Queen consists of someone writing in, sending me either an email, a message, a text message. It's, it's totally, if you want it to be, it can be anonymous. Uh, so you guys write in, you add, tell me your situation, and what would I do? And then you basically get advice from me of what would I do in this situation. So let's jump right on into it. Dear Queen, here's my situation. I met a girl and moved in with her. We had three kids. Then my girl's mom and her sister moved in with us. Then her uncle moved in when he was released from prison. Now we have mother, sister, uncle, and children under one roof. There are so many people in the house that people are sleeping in the dining room on the floor. There are no house rules or discipline for our children since my name isn't on anything at the house. I have no say in what goes on. I have a job and I'm in school, so that's how I keep my sanity. This is not how I handle business. I've I always believe that I am a million dollar man, but I'm living like a two dollar hooker. <laughs> I'm trying to stay the course and be here for my girl, but it's hard when it seems like she doesn't care. I have two degrees. My girl is an LPN and she makes good money, but she has no backbone. My girl is big on family and since her mother has spent a lot of time in prison, she feels like she owes her mom something. I'm tired and I would not let this mistress me out. Should I just move on and get my own place? I can't keep living like this and my children shouldn't have to either. If I if I leave my girl, she can't afford to support these people by herself. Please help me. <sighs> okay, my bad child. You know, I tried to read that straight through. That's why, that's why it's important. It's a period in these things. I need to breathe and then let it out. Okay, so uh oh my god, first of all. Sorry to hear that because this is one thing about it. Me personally, I am, um, I am, I am a person that has been single that have never had to live with a man uh, for like a long period of time or really just at all. Ever since I've been out on my own, I have not had to, you know, basically live with another individual, whether it's the spouse or boyfriend or whatever. Like it never gets that far. And that's because I do have kids. And um, yeah, so it has to be serious. Okay, so you met the girl and moved in with her. Now, the thing about that is that I always feel like that if you are uh setting setting a foundation and i remember reading this a long time ago because they set up here and said it was somebody who said i cannot remember but they was just like anytime that you you are in a relationship and you guys decide to move in it's always best for the man to basically either it's either best to start over 
whether she got the house or you know what I'm saying she built the house it's never a good decision for a man to move in with the woman just because you know for the example the man is supposed to be the household the provider the protector and that's not just going on modern day stuff but it's just the simple fact is that that can avoid situations like how you're feeling now with the oh I don't feel like you know uh, I can say anything because my name is not on the lease or anything like that but at the end of the day if you're paying bills and stuff like that that's really to cover all ends and me personally if i was to even have my own place and if a man was to move in and stuff like that you best believe it's going to be some type of paperwork put in place where if it doesn't work out or if something happens to me or whatever then this person won't just be out and shit out of luck knowing that they invested you know that's something that you you and your uh the mother of your child should have discussed before you moved in with her for as like the rules the regulations and and also uh the the finances uh, because i just feel like that that was one red flag you should have never did y'all should you know you should have if y'all was gonna live together you guys should have started over fresh and got a whole new place okay y'all got three kids okay so you turn around and then the mom the sister and then the uncle from jail moving in so you're really trying to figure out should you get your own place or not yes you should definitely get your own place but i do feel like that you should talk to the mother of your child and see what is the deep root problems i really do hate when people uh get into situations as far as like they feel like they have to help out their family members you do have those people that are so family they're all about family and they family ain't shit sorry <laughs> you know that might hurt some people feelings but i'm just being real like you it's some people out there that will go over and beyond they will sit up here and go against anybody behind their mama daddy brothers sisters cousins and everybody else but at the end of the day the favor will not be returned you see what i'm saying because for this for the mother of your child to feel like that she thinks that she owes her mother something because her mother spent a lot of time in prison that's messed up because as a child like i mean was she the one who put her mom in prison like why would she feel that guilt and that's what we have to understand too because at the end of the day we're feeling guilty for doing something that consists of better in our life and keeping negativity and stuff like that out of our life first of all why did the mom go to prison not only the mom went from prison then you got the uncle that just get out of prison and everybody just piling up on the girlfriend piling up on the girlfriend and stuff like that and everybody's moving in on her because they feel like wow she made good money and they feel like she don't have a backbone that's not good that's the reason why that you and her should have laid down some ground rule because i'm just gonna be real with you if i'm married because i'm not even trying to be funny if if that's not the goal at the end of the day is for me and him to be married we're not for to move in with each other you know i do believe some people be saying like well it's best to move in and get to know a person yeah because sometimes when you guys move in that's going to make or break the relationship because then you actually see how the person lives see how they maintain their daily schedule it's kind of like they can't hide and fake the funk once you guys move in you it's, it's it's really like the marriage for better or worse and this is either gonna make or break the relationship so i'm not gonna sit up here and say i understand old school people gonna like that's shacking you shouldn't be shacking but at the end of the day i do feel like that you definitely should uh should move in with a person and, and to know for a fact that this is something that uh that we're going to be working towards long long term so we need to figure it out i do feel like that like i said prince you should definitely move out you should have a talk with her and let her know like hey you know what should this is the type of stuff that i do not agree with and that if long as i'm here and i'm paying bills and stuff like that it has to be rules because i don't understand why is it that you guys don't have discipline and rules and regulations not only for the household it's also for the um for the kids you guys kids together like what you telling me not only these people gonna stay with us but we can't say nothing or we can't discipline our kids because they stay with us because they gonna have something to say unemployed people ain't got nothing to say 
you you need to be treading lightly. You see what I'm saying? It was funny because I remember seeing something about Mike Epps, and he was up here saying like he was like, "What is the worst thing to be is unemployed? You know, you can't even look like you too relaxed to somebody else. I mean, as soon as they hit the door, come in, you better be up on your toes, walking, cleaning, moving around because at the end of the day, if they feel like you too relaxed, oh, it's gonna be a whole nother problem. And I feel like with this situation, that's exactly uh, that's exactly what she should have done she should have definitely put down ground rules and then even when it come down to y'all kids you know let's just keep it real those are y'all kids now if it's the issue you telling me you can't even go to her to let her know like hey you know this is what we need to be done or whatever it's, it's got to be more to the story because is you is you paying bills is you helping out or are you just like the family members because you sit up here and say i have i have always believed that i'm a million dollar man but i'm living like a two dollar hooker now wait a minute it's a, now is you putting that believe is you put action behind what you believe because it's crazy because a lot of people have that that mentality or believe that should be this, this, and that. But then on the back end of it, that's not that's not something that you know what I'm saying they portray because at the, I see that you said that you got degrees and uh you got two degrees and you, she you ain't saying nothing about your work history but my girl is an LPN and she makes good money so at the end of the day you know what I'm saying that could play a big factor too like are you trying to thug it out until you get up on your feet or is it just something that you feel like is more convenient because if that is that's just as wrong as her family members and I, I just can't see her I understand she not having a backbone and stuff like that but at the end of the day as a man that is your job to let her know i understand we can't let people know uh about their family because you know how people are like don't say nothing about my mama don't say nothing about my kids don't say nothing about my people but at the end of the day it would definitely be some type of understanding because i'm not even trying to be funny i'm not i'm never going to be combative when it comes down to you and your family members i'm going to voice my opinion if you are the person that love me and want to be with me and stuff like that you need to take that into consideration it's either we're going to work on it, we're gonna find a solution or we're gonna we're gonna keep it pushing whether we got kids or not i'm not gonna sit up here and st stick in a situation where people are honestly living in a dining room they all on the floors and stuff like that and i mean it's it's definitely going to put a strain on you guys relationship even if you are helping out because you got to think about this is that you guys are not going to have time to yourself it's not a healthy thing and not trying to be funny for the sister uncle and the mother be staying or whatever i don't even think that um I don't even think it might be a deadline that you know that is probably put in place because that's another thing too <clears throat> when you talk to her let her know like hey you know is it a deadline that they're going to basically have to a uh, babe uh, uh you know that they're gonna have to go on to make for sure that you know that they are trying to work towards getting up at her because we're not fit to support people until they're ready to leave until we file out no give them a deadline i understand the mom came for prison the uncle and stuff like that but you know if people sit up here and they're ready to change their life and get themselves together or if they're just trying to freeload so my advice is uh, first of all, talk to her, talk to her, sit her down. You also need to, you know, let her know like, Hey, you know, we need to figure this out. If I'm going to stay here, these are the things I need to be put in place. Put your, you know, put your recommendation in. Also, you know, let her know, even if you do not really mind about her family staying there, then you need to let her know like, hey, well, they need a, what is the deadline? What is the goal? What is like, if they got a problem where they got to stay with us, so what is, what is the solution? Is we just going to let them stay here until they get ready? You know what the quickest way to get rid of a person? Somebody said this a long time ago, get them a bill. Get in with bill. I don't care if you got the most brokest person in the household that act like they is cheap and they can't never do nothing. As soon as you start being like, okay, you over the next flick, you over the phone bills, you over, you know, you over the light bill, you over half this show monthly rent, these people will either obey by it or they will move on and go leech off somebody else. So if she if she if she feel like she ain't got a break, then she'll see for herself. And sometimes you might have to take that route in, you know showing a person by action is the biggest lesson maybe if you do get your own place and stuff like that and she doesn't have that leeway 
uh were to depend on you and stuff like that then she'll actually see for herself how much her family care because at the end of the day if you go on and get your own place and stuff like that and you guys continue to co-parent and raise you guys kids then she'll see how much like oh my god like he was actually here and making for sure everything it's a lot of stuff that he did because a lot of times when you're so wrapped up into giving 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 to people and always being the giver sometimes you lose focus on the people that really matter you see what i'm saying like the people that that are actually there for you that pull into you and you probably you're they're going unnoticed because you're so wrapped up on other people and, and what they got going on so the person that really do matter and that really makes you happy and they really pick up a lot of slack you don't even notice that until they're gone so that could be an eye opener her for two like once you get your own place and then she see that hey he's gone and we're still co-parenting but now uh, when i look at it he did help out a lot and he never make her realize and like kind of be you know put that little that bone back in her body since she ain't got no backbone that'll definitely put that bone back in her back and uh she'll start trying to like lay down foundation i do not feel like that is healthy for family members and friends to stay with you know you i don't care how much y'all been through and what's going on i think everybody should have a deadline unless it's not like no health issues or no death reason i feel like everybody should have a deadline i don't care like if i was a if a dude me and a dude we together and we stand together or my spouse or whatever uh, it can be anybody but please let it be a deadline like i don't i don't want you to be saying like oh this person gonna stay for me for three or four years no like you know what i'm saying like no it has to be a deadline or we need to see what is something we can put in place now if it's come to an agreement that we both agree to and it's no problem fine but that's something that should be discussed before the person moving stay tonight or whatever so i hope some of the advice uh helped or whatever i tend to ramble but you ask me and like i said friends say i do feel like that you should sit down to talk to her and let her know how you feel uh and i do still feel like you should either move out or let her know you guys are starting over as far as like you guys can be together but you guys need to start over or put your name or something on the lease make for sure that you are somewhere on the lease or doing something because it's like that covers your end and if that makes you feel better to know for a fact that she can't get upset and one day kick you out or she don't have to hold it over your head put that in place because i'm just being honest with you like a man come paying my my bills and doing all this type of stuff uh yeah i'm gonna put something in place to make sure that he's covered because he's covering me without even you know thinking twice about it so it goes both ways so definitely talk to her you know she might be dealing with some type of trauma for her to feel like that she owes her mother something that just got out of prison uh so that could be get down to the root of that and then once she know her self-worth and once she know that for a fact that hey i can press on and move on then maybe you know she can start laying down boundaries and once she lay down boundaries the people that really genuinely love you and care they understand and then they will move accordingly but selfish people you know would definitely you know look at that and get upset and try to put some type of burden and guilt on you but i'm gonna let you know this now blood is sometimes not thicker than water people kill me blood thicker than water that's your sister that's your brother it doesn't matter if it's toxic if it's not helping me grow mentally and physically it has to go you see what i'm saying like people have to get out their mindset of oh family family over everything no because your biggest support might even come from strangers your friends people that you don't even know so stop going by that my family my family that is dead and gone and over with so i hope you you know you got something out of it uh for all my listeners please like share comment let me know what you guys think please comment on the poll if you hear the poll if you want to leave a message uh participate i really appreciate it even if you want to uh either call in or if you want to write me a note or something like that and ask the question please feel free i would really appreciate it so thank you guys a lot for tuning in and i will hear from you guys next time Mwah!